So I'm guessing you're very excited. No, Tyler, I'm not excited. <laughs> yes, I am. Are you excited? I am excited. I am stressed out because we have a lot left to do and still money to raise. But <laughs> overall, you know, it's New York. It's DC. How can you not be excited? Now, are you ready? Yeah! Senior trip is something I've been excited for for a long time. I can still remember as a freshman going into band class and not seeing our seniors for a week. Also, for almost all the Fridays of that year because of the senior lunches. Fundraising became a big part of our year. Whether it be senior lunches or car washes or even the spring carnival, we were always We weren't going on the trip. The fundraisers were a lot of fun. I mean, you know, like the time that LJ poured grease on the sidewalk and then it froze and then we had to clean it up. <laughs> or, you know, the car washes and just all the great memories we've had so far with the fundraisers. Oh yeah, there's a lot of satisfaction in knowing that you've raised money for something this big and uh, it just plays along with the excitement of it. It's finally here. Everyone's raised enough money and we're finally going. So, Have you ever been on a trip or a vacation to this extent? Uh, actually, no. The farthest we've been on a vacation is to Alabama. And we didn't really go explore, see anything worth merit. I think I speak for all the poor people of Pineville, Kentucky, when I say that without this senior trip, we will not be able to leave the confounds of Pineville, Kentucky. And so to be able to fundraise and raise the money yourself to go to these places like New York and Washington, D.C., it's truly amazing. And like I know for myself, and speaking for myself, I could not afford the $1,500 that each kid was supposed to have raised without the fundraising. The Pineville High School Senior Trip is a great opportunity for all students to explore a new world. For many of us, Pineville has been almost our entire life, and it's refreshing to see something different and to experience a radically different culture. Coming into D.C. was definitely a different experience. From the start, you get to see a city that dwarfs even the likes of Middlesbrough. After the initial shock of being in town, though, you start to come across numerous monuments scattered throughout the city. The Washington Monument towered over the city and could be viewed almost anywhere. The Air Force Monument was in Arlington and was definitely a sight to behold. Unfortunately, under repairs, it was still exciting to see the Capitol building. The National Mall was humongous and felt like the D.C. era desert. Lincoln was actually the tallest president and you can tell from his statue. And finally, the White House was, well, white. <laughs> Arlington National Cemetery, formerly Robert E. Lee's house, now spans 624 acres and has 400,000 soldiers buried within it. With 20 to 30 funerals happening every day, it is quickly running out of space. And if something is not done, then it will run out of space by 2025. But luckily, Arlington Cemetery is expanding and expected to last five more years. The changing of the guard was a very emotional experience, and through all 10 minutes, the spectators were expected to stay completely silent and respectfully unknown. After a brisk trip to D.C., I think we are all very excited for the next portion. As you can tell from the video, New York City is humongous. The skyscrapers in Manhattan easily dwarf the buildings from Washington, D.C. 
It has an impressive size, but also an impressive rush hour. You can be stuck in traffic for over an hour just to get into city. Our one and only Broadway play was The Lion King. We actually ended up being late to the Broadway play, but thankfully they did let us inside. And while we were not able to record it, the experience was definitely awesome. Extravagant. Exhilarating. It was amazing. What surprised me the most was the amount of people in New York. At any given time, I honestly believe that the population of Pineville was smaller than the population of Times Square. My favorite part of the trip was going to the newly rebuilt World Trade Center. While yes, they only have one tower, and that's the Freedom Tower, they also have the 9-11 Memorial where the Twin Towers once stood. They also have an excellent 9-11 museum about the history and facts of the incident. My favorite part of the trip had to be Chinatown, and that is because I love bargaining. And so, LJ was looking for a purse, so I followed him. And his bargaining skills was lacking in many aspects. But the worst thing he did was he paid the person for the purse before he saw the purse. Well, you yeah, that's a no-no. And he did it. The last stop of our trip was supposed to be the Statue of Liberty. Our schedule did change to have Rockefeller Tower last, though. As expected, you can only reach the statue via ferry. The line was long and you had to go through many security procedures. Once I saw the statue, I was actually quite disappointed at the size, but it was still exciting to see the statue because of its symbolism and American ideas and history. I have to say that I thoroughly enjoyed the trip to New York and Washington, D.C. Uh, being able to see all the memorials and the monuments, it was truly amazing. And I understand that Red, you know, we had a certain amount of time, we could do everything, and we had a lot to squeeze in. So I would definitely like to take another trip to those places, just so I can truly embrace and enjoy what I had seen earlier. I truly loved my trip to New York City and D.C. I believe, honestly, that I enjoy it more now than I did at the time, probably because I was exhausted from the bus rides. I was kind of disappointed at the time because of the construction of the Capitol building and not being able to see a couple of monuments, but the things we did get to see was truly an awesome experience. New York, I was baffled by the size and the amount of people and I was honestly culture shocked through the whole trip. It was a great time and a great experience. I guess we leave New York to the class of 2017.